Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue right triangle uh, ECD fully confined uh, in a quadrilateral uh, ABCD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, its uh, side length uh, EC is uh, 51 units whereas uh, its uh, side length uh, CD is uh, 85 uh, units. And moreover, this segment uh, EB is going to be equal to this segment uh, AE. In other words, E is the midpoint uh, on this uh, line AB. And furthermore, uh, this side length uh, AD is equal to this uh, side length uh, DE. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, quadrilateral ABCD. And we are not supposed to be using calculators of any kind. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ECD whose uh, side lengths are 51 and uh, 85. And now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, missing side uh, ED length. And now let's recall the well-known uh, Pythagorean triplets uh, 3, 4, 5. And now I am going to multiply each and every one of these uh, numbers uh, by 17. And as a result, uh, we are going to get a new set of uh, Pythagorean triplets. 3 times 17 is going to give us uh, 51. 4 times 17 is going to give us 68 and finally 5 times 17 is uh, 85 and now we can see 51 and 85 uh, are already taken so therefore uh, this uh, missing side uh, DE is going to be 68 uh, units and by the way we could have used the Pythagorean theorem to calculate uh, this side length uh, DE and our Pythagorean theorem is uh, a square plus b square equal to c square. If I label uh, this side length lowercase a, this uh, lowercase b, and this uh, hypotenuse uh, c. And here in this uh, next step, I have substituted these uh, b and uh, c value in this uh, formula. And we are ended up with a square plus uh, 2601 equal to 7225. Let's subtract uh, 2601 from both sides. This uh, is gone and when we subtract uh, this one, so A square turns out to be 4624. Let's undo this square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore A turns out to be 68. And since uh, A represents this side length uh, DE, so therefore our DE length uh, is uh, 68. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, pink quadrilateral uh, ABCD is going to be the sum of uh, these uh, three individual uh, triangle areas. The area of this uh, isosceles uh, triangle uh, ADE and the area of this uh, triangle uh, DEC and finally the area of this uh, triangle uh, CBE and now let's make an observation once again in this uh, isosceles triangle uh, ADE this side length uh, DE is equal to this side length uh, AD if this side length is 68 uh, this side length uh, AD has got to be 68 uh, as well and now we have many options uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink quadrilateral uh, ABCD. And we are going to think uh, outside the box and we are going to draw some auxiliary lines. So therefore I have extended uh, this line CE all the way to this uh, point F. And likewise uh, this line uh, DA all the way to F uh, as well. And as a result we are ended up with the uh, this uh, triangle uh, AEF and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two tiny triangles uh, this triangle uh, AEF uh, and this other triangle uh, EBC and now we can see that this angle uh, AEF uh, is congruent to this triangle uh, BEC since they are uh, vertical angles 
and moreover this angle uh, F A E is uh, going to be congruent to this angle uh, E B C since they are alternate uh, interior angles since uh, these uh, lines are uh, parallel and furthermore uh, this segment uh, A E is equal to this segment uh, E B. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two triangles, uh, triangle AEF uh, and the other triangle EBC are uh, congruent uh, triangles according to angle uh, side angle uh, congruency theorem. So in other words uh, these uh, two triangles are identical and since uh, these two triangles are congruent so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, EC is going to be equal to this segment uh, FE. If this segment is 51 then this uh, FE segment is going to be 51 units uh, as well. And now let's make an observation we can see the area of this uh, pink uh, quadrilateral ABCD is going to be equal to the area of this uh, triangle uh, FCD and we can see that this uh, FCD is uh, this uh, shaded uh, bigger uh, triangle. So therefore this is uh, sufficient enough to calculate uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, FCD now. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, shaded uh, triangle uh, FCD now. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to half uh, times base uh, times height. And in our case uh, the base of this uh, triangle uh, FCD is uh, FC. And this is going to be the sum of these 51 plus 51 that is going to give us uh, 102 units. So therefore the base of uh, this triangle uh, FCD turns out to be 102 and the height of uh, this uh, triangle FCD is uh, 68. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got 1 divided by 2 times our base is uh, 102 times our height uh, is uh, 68 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 3468 uh, square uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this uh, pink uh, quadrilateral uh, ABCD turns out to be 3468 uh, square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.